some local health care professionals now wonder what this could mean for them and their patients. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald is here with reaction. Yeah, you spoke with some doctors today. What did they tell you? You know, they are well aware of what Kyle just explained, the so-called Human Life Protection Act. However, they told us today, while it's meant to ban nearly all abortions, it will not stop abortions from happening, and that is very dangerous. Women will uh, suffer. Uh, so many of them will die. Local doctors didn't mince words a day after a U.S. Supreme Court draft opinion on abortion was leaked to the press. When it comes to exercising the right of my body, my choice, it's just ironic that we are allowed to exercise our choice over our freedom from coronavirus vaccination. Women in Tennessee would almost immediately be affected if the highest court overturns Roe v. Wade. Tennessee passed a law in 2019 that would allow it to ban nearly all abortions if this ruling is reversed. Women will need to travel um, to states that, are, um, that make these services available. And um, already Connecticut and California have decided that they're going to be haven states. But nonetheless, that's a far way to go. And women who can't afford to travel, they may instead consult an unskilled provider or attempt an abortion alone. Some of the people who taught me when I was in medical school talked about what it was like to care for women who had septic abortions. So this is really going to happen. Between 9 and 11,000 abortions happen every year in Tennessee, according to the CDC. Today, abortion is still legal, which doctors think is important for all women to remember. We need to enable those women to access care right here all throughout every American state. And Roe v. Wade needs to stay, not go away. Today we also heard from the CEO of one of the only clinics still performing abortions in Tennessee. That's Planned Parenthood. The executive said they are making sure patient navigators are ready if abortions are banned. Ready to shift and make sure women know how and can access them out of state. Vicki. Thanks, Hannah. Governor Bill Lee sent a statement regarding the leak. He said in part, if the federal courts return full authority to the states, Tennessee's laws will automatically provide the maximum possible protection and offer a glimmer of redemption as America reconciles our troubled past.